morning, my name is Priyanka Gupta. I am going to perform three pieces. I begin with the first piece of prose taken from Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. It's titled Uncle Podger Lines of Nature. In this scene, Uncle Podger is a messy and forgetful character, and Jerome compares him to his friend Hans. You never saw such a commotion.
if you can meet with charm and disaster and treat these two impostors just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken, twisted by males to make a chart for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with all that tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitted dust, and lose and start again at your beginnings without breathing a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and love and singing to serve your turn long after they are gone. And so hold on when there is nothing in you except the world which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but not too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you will be a man, my son. My next piece is an extract from a poem, Hello Goodbye Peace by Gabriel Davis. In this scene, Alina is a, a very sad and unhappy coffee shop and she is ambitious and dreams of climbing the economic ladder. It's titled Fire the Boys. World peace, world peace. Everyone wants world peace. Or everyone pretends to want world peace. But they don't really want world peace. Because there's a simple way to get it. Everyone knows it. No one wants to say it. Fire the boys. Fire the boys. There, I said it. The boys have been mostly in charge of the world for a long time now. And look at it. The world is a mess. A mess created by boys. And why are we surprised by this? Go into any single boy's room or apartment or dorm room. Go into it. Is it tiny? Are the pants crisply folded? Are the shirts carefully hung? The socks done? Some? Sure, sure. Some. But the majority? The majority are a forgotten wasteland of dirty laundry, empty beer cans, and old pizza boxes. So what idiot saw this Amin Bro's room and said this looks good? We should put this guy in charge of the entire world. I think you get the place in order. Let me tell you, this wasn't a girl. A girl did not make that decision. Now boys have been putting other boys in charge for a long time now. And we, we girls get some middle management positions, few leadership roles here and there. Things are changing. But meanwhile, the boys still really are mainly in charge. And if the boys, what are you thinking? What makes you think you do better? And my answer is, why bubbles? Let me explain. There's a group of wild buffoons in Africa where a tragedy killed off most of the males, leaving all the girl monkeys in charge. And the result was a maze balls. The monkeys stopped fighting amongst themselves and spent more time in grooming and socializing with each other, making them less mean and more cool. And it was good for the boys too. The boy monkeys used to be stressed out all the time, worrying about competing with other boys. Learn from the non-dominant girl culture how to groom each other. In long 